Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are going to go over the seven deadly sins that every believer, every person that confess the name of Jesus Christ, we should know by heart the seven deadly sins. That is how they are regarded. You will find them in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 through 19, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, and also Galatians chapter 5, beginning at verse 17. One is lust. It is an unquenchable, unsatiable desire for sexual uh, expression. Um, number two is gluttony. Friends, a lot of us don't understand that having a unquenchable desire for food and, and, and know this and understand, not everyone that practice the sin of gluttony is overweight. Um, we, we have this thought that people who are obese, we know that they struggle with that, but there are people who look like a size five, six, who do overeat. They make themselves throw it up. So we do have people who uh, indulge in gluttony, but they are hiding it. And friends, this is absolutely something that can harm you. Uh, many people um, who are bulimic have these issues with food, but I wanna encourage you, we can overcome. There is a fight for most of us with food. I know I fight with food. Me and fi food be fighting every day. It's certain things, I'm just not having it. <laughs> I ain't having it because I know it is not good for my body. One of my uh, guilty pleasures, and I, I will not indulge it often, is ice cream. Oh, give me some French vanilla. Oh, and, and we won't even mention the Oreo blizzard at McDonald's. Man, that, this, this, I shouldn't even be talking about this, my friends. <laughs> That ice cream is so good, but it is something you cannot overindulge. Um, it, it, you, I mean, friends. Period. You gotta, you gotta slay it. You gotta say no. I'm only having you once a month, and I might not uh, have you that much because it's just not good. We have to put it down. Number three is greed. Just being greedy, and you know you're greedy because you never help the needy. That is one way you know you are a greedy person, you are selfish and self-serving because you're never in a mind to help people. You're not even consistent. You're just here or there, but you really don't care about anyone else except for yourself. And friends, that is not the spirit that we should have as followers of Jesus Christ. When you constantly hoard, hoard, you are uh, constantly holding off every penny you got and you're you're just strategizing constantly to get more and more and more so you could store, store, store. There is no outreach in your personal life. Friends, you got to consider that you are practicing greed. And, and listen, friends, there are people that will kill you for money. They will kill you for product. They will kill other people literally because they are so greedy. Number four, friends, I don't think many of us understand that being slothful, being lazy, being just totally uninterested in things that you should be, you should be invested in it because it's your job. It's the thing that you have been allocated is the thing that you have said that you will are or rather you're willing to do it in exchange for currency so friends when you are slothful it is a sin and god hates slothfulness this is a sin friends and i'm telling you you want to make sure that you look at every area of your life and see why you don't have enthusiasm, why you don't have the energy when you know that you need the money, you know you need the job. You've got to comb over your life and make sure that you do not despise working. And if you don't work and you're retired, and you're just sitting around day to day, friends, that's laziness. Uh, if you have... Um, breath in your body and you are able to work your limbs and you will not get up and be about something friends listen let me tell you it doesn't bring glory to god number five is pride just prideful i mean no one 
<laughs> friends, I tell you, no one could get around the whole idea that as human beings, we are self-serving and we are self-always preserving. But there are times where pride has to go. And you will find this when you don't want to exert yourself to be about things that you know God has asked you to do. And you just shrink back because of pride. You constantly hide. Or on the flip side, you, you know, you just arrogant and, you know, can't nobody tell you nothing about nothing, especially when it comes to the things of God. Number seven is envy. Envy. Friends, listen. Envy says you're not supposed to have what you got. You, you're you sad because of people's success. It makes you mad. It makes you angry. You're constantly comparing yourself to other people and you find yourself sad and mad. Friends, that's the work of envy. Envy says you shouldn't have it. Jealousy says, why don't I have it? And you look with that green-eyed monster. I call it the green-eyed monster. Envy. Oh, friends, you got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of it. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare anything that you're going through. Nothing. Don't compare it to others. Last but not least, friend, is anger. Wrath. The Bible says, be anger, angry, but sin not. I believe that's Ephesians chapter four. But this is how you know you are a person full of hatred and anger and wrath because you seek revenge. You are always trying to get back at people. You are devising plots and schemes and, and uh, plans to harm other people. You're violent. You you tear up property. You tear up people's stuff. And then, you know, some people will cut up your stuff and be like, you ask, man, what happened to my shirt? and your, your your wife or your kids to cut it up and they like I don't know how that happened and they know that they went on one of their fits of rage tore up and cut up your stuff friends it's a sin it's a sin to constantly bra be brawling and fighting and tearing up stuff it's a sin so friends there we have it seven deadly sins that we need to all make sure we are not practicing this. We are practicing self-control and morality. We disregard vices. We don't need vices. We want the Holy Spirit to give us wisdom. We refuse to, to operate in wrath and destroy things and people and property. We refuse adultery. We refuse to lust after other people's spouse, other people's uh, wives. We refuse it. We refuse to be offended to the point where we start finding ways to harm other people's jobs and ministries. You're trying to destroy their 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 work uh, uh, ethics by, by dousing scandal on them. Friends, it is not of God. It is wrong. God bless you, my friend. Enough said. Make sure you take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, Proverbs chapter 6, Galatians chapter 5. Every believer needs to know that particular chapter. It is, it is so telling of what we know we need to get rid of to honor our Lord and Savior's death, burial, and resurrection for our sin to the glory of God. God bless, friends. Till next time.